Beast TV is proudly supported by Georgia's Marine and Sports, making fun a reality. Today on Beast TV, we'll check out what's happening on the trails, find out what's happening around the province, get the scoop on the upcoming Carlton Place Hospital poker run, and find out about the newest Beast Snowmobile Trail. These stories and more as Beast TV starts now. Welcome back to another edition of Beast TV. I'm your host, Kren Hunt. Have you been like me and dreaming about your first snowmobile poker run? Well, I can't wait for the upcoming Carlton Place and District Hospital Foundation Snowmobile Poker Run. The fun all begins Saturday, February 4th. Registrations open at 8 a.m. at the Beckwith Fire Hall. Registration is $20 per person and a minimum of $30 in pledge which provides you with a poker hand lunch and a chance to win a thousand dollars door prizes. Hurry up and get your pledge forms because if you pre-register before February 3rd, you can get two more cards for the poker hand. Complete details at www.snowmobile.on.ca. Now let's find out what's happening on the trails this week. We're here on the Trans Canada Trail with Dave Hunt today. The uh, weather looks good. It, uh, Mother Nature was good to us this week, and whatever you guys are doing out there, keep it up. Beast Club generally received 15 centimeters of snow in most areas. Surely, Dave, the trails must now be open. Looks like they're open to me, Andrew. As I said before, Andrew, it, uh, most of the trails, about 50% of them, are now limited. And uh, hopefully, since we've got this snow, maybe we'll even be able to get about 75% of our trail system open as limited uh, by the time either you watch this video or by the time the end of the week. So uh, we're, we're, things are really shaping up. They're looking good. We had uh, all four groomers out over the last 24 hours. Um, the volunteers and the groomer operators have been doing an awesome job trying to get these trails ready for everyone. Uh, we're almost done. We're almost there. The one thing I want to remind everyone is that with the low snow that we've had this year, trails are listed as limited and I'm, everyone has to remember we have to ride as the trails are limited, use extreme caution at all times. So I can get my sled out tomorrow? You can get it out now, Andrew. <laughs> Scratch that itch, guys. <laughs> all right. What a perfect week for snowmobilers. Let's hope the current forecast for Tuesday brings snow and not rain. Sweet. Jeepers, what are we doing here filming? Those trails look gorgeous. When BCB returns, we'll check back in with Andrew to put those rumors to rest. I've been hearing about a new trail in Carlton Place. Beast TV, brought to you in part by Hobbs Family Meats and Bakery, over 200 years in farming. Kerr Carpentry, we strive to make your dreams a reality. Lentech Motorsports, it's where the fun begins. M&P Farms, Equipment sales, parts, and service. This week is International Snowmobile Safety Week and the Beast is a strong supporter of safe snowmobiling. Alcohol is a major factor in fatalities and injuries. A number of years ago we have adopted a zero tolerance policy. If you're out on the trails impaired, you're risking your life and the lives of those sharing the trails with you. Enjoy your time on the trails this year, but always remember to put safety first and ride sober. It's been a long time saying the only thing snowmobilers carry are wallets. It looks like the town of Carlton Place is beginning to get the message. Let's check in with Andrew as he finishes the last minute touches to the newest Beast Snowmobile Trail. We're pleased to announce an access trail to Carlton Place has been officially provided to the Highway 7 corridor from the Trans Canada Trail. Only minutes from the A Trail, the opening of this trail provides fuel, food, and lodging services to the OFSC network and at the same time makes Carlton Place a tourist destination. 
This access trail is a direct result of hard work on behalf of your club volunteers and a significant cooperation by the town of Carlton Place. Without their cooperation, cooperation this trail would not be possible. The town of Carlton Place does have concerns with their asphalt pathway being damaged and we ask that snowmobilers stay off the pathway as much as possible. We wish to remind you that the presence of pedestrians are more than likely and we request that you drive slow at all times to ensure continued use of this trail which is graciously allowed by the town of Carlton Place. I hear there's a Timmy's at the end of the trail. I can't wait to grab a hot chocolate there. Now let's find out what's happening in the provincial news. The recent announcement of the groomer guy's resignation as president of the club Alouette Duberville, located approximately three hours north of Sault Ste. Marie, has been resonating throughout the province of Ontario. To some, Luke is considered the pioneer of social media within the OFSC, but is most commonly known as the groomer guy. Luke's use of social media was instrumental to making a name for his small town and putting it on many snowmobilers' must-do bucket list. It is with great pleasure that I have the opportunity to speak with Luke today. Luke, thank you for joining us, and more importantly, thank you for everything you've done for the sport. Can you tell me how you got started volunteering for the club? I started volunteering back in 1996. Um, I went to the, one of the club meetings, and um, I listened to uh, the meeting and everything was interesting, and I always loved snowmobiling. As a kid, I owned a snow machine too, so uh, now that uh, I wanted to get back into sport. So. Can you share with us your most memorable experience? I think I remember the most uh, that, that I remember it um, when the first time I saw the groomer. <laughs> it's um, I was going down the lake and uh, I wasn't too sure where I was going, but uh, it was the first time going on the F trail and I uh, broke through ice, but I was okay. I got the groomer almost unstuck with uh, some help with another guy that showed up. And then uh, the next day we went out, we tried moving the groomer again and suddenly uh, the ice let go and I, I fell up to the roof in the lake, but I was able to uh, to get out and then the groomer was stuck in the water up to the roof. What was your biggest accomplishment? Uh, what's my biggest accomplishment? Um, I guess over the years, like the story of how I started with the um, posting internet stuff, like everybody knows me about my videos, my blog, my uh, posting trail reports. So that's pretty well my biggest accomplishment because I helped a lot of snowmobilers uh, plan their trips because uh, the uh, information wasn't there. So, And also, um, with that, it brought me our club to win uh, the 2000, uh, 2011 Ted Day Communication Award. That award is awarded to clubs that use the media, social media, and all that kind of stuff to promote their club and better the sport of snowmobiling. Do you have any future plans for your free time? Free plans are just pass more time with my girlfriend and uh, my kids and my two little girls. One's six and one's uh, one's eight, so I need to pass more time with them, and I'll go snowmobiling more, fix up my old snow machine, and go riding. I haven't had the chance to ride a lot, so. Thanks, Luke. While Luke might be grumbling about having to shovel his laneway almost daily, other areas of the province have been grumbling about the lack of snow. Word has it that District 7 has stolen all of the snow from District 8. Beast TV also found out that the Port Perry Snowmobile Club thinks they might just have the answer to the limited support Mother Nature has provided us this year. Ski Hills may have realized it many years ago, and many of us have asked why we just can't make our own snow. Well, after many hours of research, the Port Perry Snowmobile Club decided to build a snow gun to fill in areas which traditionally require just that little extra bit of snow to allow them to open their trails. When asked if they were planning to begin exporting their man-made snow, they de declined to comment. That's all the time we have for today for Beast TV. Please remember to ride safe and most importantly, ride sober. I'm your host, Kern Hunt. Until next time, 
Keep your thumb on the throttle and the rower side down. Special thanks to the following volunteers who helped make this week's episode possible. What's my biggest accomplishment? Take four. Safety first and ride sober. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> that was like the last word. <laughs> Booyah! And a million hits. Woohoo! Oh, yeah.